Oh, I got one fender off, so let's go for another one. Other fender off. Now, time for the hood. Hood off. Nice hood. Grill is off. I got that bolt out. Get on those little pieces of rubber to, I guess, dampen the shock. And now the problem is this one. Uh, I basically stripped out the bolt below with the correct socket, which is on. And so uh, now I need a, I think it is a, I forget what size, oh, 7 8 socket deep well. Try to get the upper part of the socket. But it's kind of distorted where you can't even put it on a regular 7, you know, 7 8 7, yeah, 7 8 So I need to get one. I'm going to see if I have one in my shed. If not, I might just have to cut it. I don't want to have to cut it, though. Got most of it off. Um, this side was easy. This side wasn't. Bolt sheared. Um, I had a giant wrench underneath it. And this on top of it. Big ass bar on it. And, uh, it's sheared, but I have extra oil on the other truck, I guess. <laughs> so I don't care, but... At least it's off now. Yep. Pretty good. Just checking to make sure I didn't have any thrown rods or anything. Not thrown rods, but uh, piston arms. Make sure it's still in good shape. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't know. Probably timing's off for some of that. He said he couldn't get started after he redid everything basically but the block. So I get a good block out of it. Clean out the glove box. It's a picture of a black woman posing with a Playboy rabbit, kind of. Interesting. Uh, here's a receipt from O'Reilly's. Basically, heater hose, fuel hose, coolant hose. A bunch of mail. Oh. It's all this crap away. I was to trash the oh, seat. It's just a part of car. Lysol. Nice. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. I cleaned out the bed because someone wants to buy it off of Craigslist. Not the bed, but just the uh, plastic. Which, I'm not going to overcharge someone for plastic. I said $50. You know, it has holes in it. But uh, I got all the crap out of it. Taking them to uh, do a snapshot feature of this film. So I can send them pictures. Well, this has been my progress for one day. Here's everything I've salvaged. Water pumps there. Well, I got the doors off. Now I'm over here, stacked up. Take some pictures of them. I just got the seat out. Yep. I think next I'll be taking the glass out. That's a good starting point right there. I can raise a blade and cut all that rubber out. Glass is good, except for the bad tent job on the back. Front windshield is surprisingly good, except for a little bit of uh, widening out during here. That could be the plastic between it getting sun baked and turning a different color, or it could be some kind of scum I can scrape off. I don't know. It's probably just plastic between it, though. I got the back window out. You can see. Pretty simple actually, you just take a knife there and cut around the rubber lip around here and peel it off over around. Hopefully the front window will go about the same. This is how to take out window trim. Pop it, it's all popped in place, pulled out. 
part of my job at the body shop was to take the window trim out. They never trusted me to take the window out, but I'd take the window trim out and all the trim off. So it's really easy though. You just pop it out of place. It's probably worth something though. Chrome. I got the rest of the windshield out. No more glass in there. Here's the windshield. Perfect. Cut the bed liner out. As you can see, there's a good bit of rust. But, I got plenty of metal. So, I'll patch what I can pretty easily. And be good. <laughs> now the water pulled that way. Hot concrete. Today I'm taking off the cab, or starting to. I already got that one side's bolt that holds in the frame t uh, to the cab. You gotta pop this out. There you go. And this one goes here. And since I'm a cheapo, I don't have any ratcheting giant handles. With the wasp nest on it. And this is the part where I wish I had two people. I don't have any friends. I have a brother who's mildly into cars. When I mean mildly, I mean he likes to use them. So I have to kind of make do with wedging this. Okay, it's propped up there, and that should hold. <sighs> Alright. Let's see. I turned the other one that way, so this way we'll take it off. There you go. And basically it's me doing this a bunch. Setting it. And then turning it. <gasps> well, I undid all the bolts. Started to tip it over, but the, uh, what's it called? Emergency brake cable is keeping me from tipping it further, so I need to cut that. Some of that. Pretty good progress for today. The heater core is dripping water. Or the engine. I don't know. I don't care. Hope it's not gas. No, it's oil. Anyway. Just about got the cab off. Yep. Surprisingly easy to decab a truck. Four bolts. Only four bolts. Really? Four bolts? Yes. That's the pads they sit on. I guess that's supposed to be a shock resorb. It's rubber. Doesn't really do much. That's how it's done. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Put that right there. Almost all the way through there. 
and all the way through right there. The problem with the AC converter is uh, once it gets to real tough metal, the AC converter craps out because it doesn't want to drain my battery. So if it gets below 12 volts, it shuts itself off, which is a good thing, I guess. And so uh, my alternator doesn't put out, I guess, enough to run it for too long for you know run a grinder. So uh, I'm just trying to get this roof, this uh, top of the roof off, and then I'm gonna take that back to my house and uh, cut it into chunks to patch the bed because it's about the same thickness of metal and uh, it's also easier to scrap that way because cab of a truck it's going to be hard to fit in the you know, back of a truck 